Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in the series of Network Analysis and Synthesis. Today I want to take up the topic of Thevenin's uh, equivalent circuit in AC. Now the reason uh, why I'm taking up this topic today is uh, the fact that Thevenin's equivalent circuit or Thevenin's reduction in AC circuits is no different from uh, DC uh, circuits except for the fact that it involves some complex mathematical calculations, complex number mathematical calculations that can also be done easily with the help of a calculator but otherwise these are as simple as uh, Thevenin's equivalent circuits in DC circuit. Uh, I've taken up a very simple example to illustrate this and during the process of solving this question I'm going to I'm going to uh, put some light on uh, as to how you can uh, perform quicker calculations of these uh, impedances which you will need to deal with uh, during the process of uh, obtaining the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Now this circuit has I'll complete this circuit quickly this has a load of 2 plus J8 and then it has a resistance of 10 ohm here and minus J4 ohm here and we need to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit across the port XY now I assume that you know the basics of Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Uh, Thevenin's equivalent circuit means that we'll reduce this entire uh, complicated circuit into very very simple circuit which just has one uh, voltage source and in this case it will be a DC voltage source which will be VOC and in series it will have the Thevenin's equivalent resistance and these will be the ports X and Y. So the the endeavor is to convert this entire complexity into this very simple circuit or this can be written as VTH or VOC whatever you may want to call it uh, but I assume you know the basics of how you calculate PTH and ZTH because in this particular tutorial we'll focus only on the uh, the complex number calculations that we'll encounter in solving this. Now the Thevenin's equivalent impedance which is known as ZTH or Z internal can be calculated by removing all the sources from the network for this we'll we'll open the current sources and we'll short circuit the voltage sources so we just have a current source here so we'll just get rid of this by opening this and we are left with this only so I hope this part of the circuit of course this will remain open but we'll, we'll want to calculate the internal impedance or ZTH whatever you may want to call it from from X Y looking from the point X and Y so when we go from X to Y uh, we'll encounter two parallel paths one will be this one another one will be this one so in other words uh, these two are in parallel so Z TH or Z in will be equivalent to uh, 
let me assume this to be z1 and this to be z2 so this will be z1 into z2 upon z1 plus z2 and z1 in my case is 2 plus j8 into so this is 10 plus 4 14 minus j4 these are in series by the way and then we have 2 plus j8 plus 14 minus j4 and we are we've got to we've got to use calculator here let me just show you how you can use it you can go to mode and go to complex and in complex mode you can simply type 2 plus 8i I'm sorry this is 2 plus 8i into 14 minus 4i so what I get is 60 plus 104i so this is very very simple super easy to calculate and then in denominator we have uh, 16 plus j4 so I'll write down uh, I'm interchangeably using j and i here um, I beg your pardon I I intend to use j now so uh, this is what we have and now what I can do is uh, I can divide this answer by 16 plus 4i so what I get is uh, 86 divided by or rather I'll write it down as this is a better uh, way of expressing it or now I can click shift complex and 3 that will convert it into polar so I get 7.28 angle 45.98 ohms so my Z equivalent is this half the work is done this is how quickly you can solve it using the calculator and finally or in step number two what we need to do is we need to find the voltage across uh, the point x y the open circuit voltage across x y so which will be our vth or voc for that uh, you may want to use your own intelligence as to how you can um, how you would want to calculate it but because in this particular case um, let me just draw it first and then I'll explain and uh, I've been given the source current as two angle 30 here. Now please understand this current starts to flow into this branch and it reaches a point A let us say and at point A it will split itself into two parts and if I am able to calculate this current I label this current as I1 and I label this current as I2 and if I am able to calculate I2 this I2 will flow in this branch and when this I2 will pass through this set of impedance it will cause some voltage to be dropped and that voltage is nothing but uh, VOC so what I need to do is I need to simply calculate I2 and then multiply it with this impedance to find VTH or VOC so 
BOC will be I2 into 2 plus J8. And how can I find I2? I2 is pretty simple to find because I have been given the total current. I will use current division rule. And the current division rule says I2 will be equivalent to the total current entering the node. And the total current entering the node is the source current, nothing else. It's 2 angle 30 multiplied by the impedance in the other branch. The impedance in the other branch is 4 minus J4. And divided by the impedance of the other branch plus the impedance of my own branch. So everything in total will give me 4 minus J4 plus 10 plus 2 plus J8. So this will give me 10 plus 2, 12 and 16. Okay, in the numerator I have this quantity. And in denominator I have uh, 16 plus J4. I just remove ohm from here for the sake of clarity. And then I'm left with simple calculation on the calculator. So what I'll do is I'll put everything in brackets nice and slow. 2 angle 30 multiplied by 4 minus 4i and it gives me the answer as 10 minus 928 minus 2.928 iota or j and then we have 16 plus 4j in the denominator so what I'll do is I'll divide the answer by 16 plus 4i and I get minus 3329J. So the fact of the matter is it becomes really very easy. If you if you notice I'm meticulously taking care of the brackets and that that does the job very very efficiently and now I can change my answer to complex form and go back to R angle theta form so this becomes my I2 and when this I2 flows into the impedance of let us say this is uh, CD impedance of branch CD I get VOC so VOC is 0.686 angle minus 29.04 into 2 plus J8. Now it becomes a pain in the neck if you were to calculate this thing manually uh, going from polar to rectangular, rectangular to polar because multiplication would want you to convert this rectangular form into polar um, and addition or subtraction would want uh, the polar form to be converted into rectangular so everything gets messed up and, and you give up on solving the question and getting to the final answer but this does not happen if you if you're using the calculator efficiently so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the brackets again 0 0.686 and I'll put an angle here minus 29.04 and 
I am going to multiply this with 2 plus 8i and this gives me 2 uh, 3.863 plus 4.132 iota if I were to calculate it in R angle theta format it will be 5.65 volts with a phase lead of 46 degrees and I hope this is clear enough and finally finally I'm going to put these values 5.65 angle 46.92 VTH and ZTH is 7.28 angle 45.98 ohms and this is volts and this becomes my 7 inch equivalent circuit for an AC complex circuit and I hope this quick tutorial was helpful and uh, you've got some ideas as to how you can quickly do it, how you can quickly uh, take care of the uh, uh, complex numbers and polar forms. And thank you so much for watching this video. You have a good day ahead. Bye.